Welcome to another video in our series here on the Broken B8. I think that's what I'm going to start calling this car. Hashtag Broken B8. And you'll have to excuse the chickens. Because they, they like the chicken. But, in today's episode of Fixing the Broken B8, we're going to be changing the cam position sensor. The car was throwing a code that I don't remember off the top of my head, but I'll throw it up here somewhere. And, um... So you can see the code that it was throwing, but basically there's a code for the cam position sensor. Now, if I'm kind of rushing through this, it's raining, but I'm like, oh, I still want to make a Torx T30 to get it out. It's right up here. So you just break it, it's really easy. And like I said earlier, I'll throw up the code that my car was having in case your car car is having this code too. So you can see what you gotta. So you'll know. And like always, nothing looks wrong with this thing. At all. all right, that's it. Now we're gonna replace place it. And when it comes time to like put the to torque it back down, it wasn't that tight. I don't have a, a torque wrench. Probably should get one, but I don't have one. So yeah. But just I'd say snug it up well enough. And it's raining. I'm doing this out here in the rain. But you gotta, gotta do what you gotta do. All right, snug it back up. Make sure the connector's in there good. And you're all set. So that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, if you like it, leave a like. If you don't like it, the other button works, I guess. Uh, get subscribed for more videos on the Broken B8. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.